Oh yeah, what is up dreamers? Welcome back to some Mobius Double F. Good to see you. Happy August 1st. Let's get started with some uh, Mobius news. We've got pages upon pages upon pages. So uh, this will probably be kind of a longer video. I haven't actually looked at this stuff yet. So some of it's going to be like brand new for me. So this will be kind of fun going through it together. Um, so let's get started. So August 1st. So I, did, I there were rumors. We had we heard rumors that we were going to see the Final Fantasy VIII uh, come uh, for August, and I, you know, I was a little skeptical. But all the all the all the evidence kind of pointed at it coming our way. So it is here um, already. So right now you can already do this the the collab event. There's a Final Fantasy VIII collab event. So we're going to get to walk around the garden and stuff. I haven't actually done it myself, but if you finish it, when you finish part one, you get uh, the ultimate hero squall. So it's a, it's a, essentially a free skin. So you don't want to miss out on that. That's pretty hype, and it's going to be Squall's outfit. So it's going to be pretty dang dope. Um, and Squall's face and everything. There's also a, it's a cipher job. No, I'm sorry, it's a Squall and a cipher job. Um, so this is going to be different. I'm pretty sure it's going to be different from the skin. We're going to get a free skin, and then you can also pull a skin that's better than the free skin, if that makes sense. I, I might have that wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, right. So, oh my god, this has already started. The The banner featuring Squall and Cypher has already started, so it's a legend job. Keep that in mind. Sorceress Knight we're getting, um, and then the ultimate hero is going to be Squall. And then the Supreme Card Griever. Oh man, Final Fantasy VIII Supreme Card 2. That is pretty dang awesome. Um, and then anniversary anniversary cards are back. Um, and all the anniversary cards are pretty damn good right now. I'm going to do a separate video later about this. Um, but a lot of our anniversary... I think all the anniversary cards got buffed. And um, some of the Supremes got buffed too. Uh, and it kind of went under the radar um, if you weren't paying attention. So I'll go over that in a separate video. Um, and then the third anniversary special, 31 days of free summons. Oh, that's cool. We get a free summon every day. And it says Supreme cards and Ultimate Hero cards are included. So you're going to be wanting to log in every day of this month. It's a good month uh, to at least do your free summon. Uh, don't miss out on that because that is that could be anything. So definitely worth doing. Pandemonium. Uh, looks like we're getting another monster in there. Fenrir. Fenrir comes to Pandemonium. That's awesome. Um, definitely get get in here. It's some endgame stuff. You might be able to do it if you have any trouble with it. Come by the Dreamers Discord. We'll help you out with it. But you, you can get some free Magisite in there. So it's worth doing. There's going to be Squall Leonhart quests. So this is in multiplayer. Uh, keep that in mind. So... In multi, you're gonna want to get in there. Don't play around with that. It every time a new thing comes to multiplayer, a new like what's it called? A new Sicar He's not a Sicarius, but a new uh, you know enemy comes to multiplayer. There's usually a new weapon, and there's always like two two summon tickets at least up for grabs. So you're not gonna want to miss out on that. We're gonna have our third anniversary Mobius week. So that's already started. It's gonna last until the 19th. So this whole week is Mobius Day. Oh man! And if you haven't already logged in, summon tickets every freaking day uh, for the first fourteen days, from what it looks like. And it says here that we're going to get a summon ticket as a special gift on the eighth. So uh, oh, on double eight, on eight eight, we'll get a summon ticket. Just one? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, and then Supreme Summon here. It says the Supreme Summon is here. Log in during this summon period and receive the gift of one. Oh my god. No way. I don't believe it. We're getting a free Supreme. We are going to get a free Supreme. So you have to be quick, I think. Wait, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how this works. It says... um. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, yes. So we should already have the free Supreme ticket, but then it says, not only that, receive additional, one additional Supreme ticket with Magisite bonuses. 
I mean, then it also... Dang. So if you are someone who's a spender on this game, right now is the time to buy, because you get 50% more Magicite, and if you spend probably, I don't know, I'm guessing about 75 bucks or so, it'll give you the, a free Supreme ticket, so up to two free Supremes that you can get at this time. Um, I'm going to have to look in my inventory. I didn't notice the Supreme ticket. Um, August 3rd. So in just a couple days, we're going to have a Mobius Greater Summon. It says on the on the double eight day of August 8th, the Mobius Greater Summon uh, BIS begins. Get a card you have yet to obtain at five star brand new. Limited cards included in the summon pool too. That's actually pretty cool. So basically what, a free summon? Free summons like crazy this month. A happy anniversary free summon. So August 3rd on Saturday is FF Mobius birthday. Oh snap, I didn't know that. To celebrate we're giving away a free greater summon. That's actually awesome. I'm happy about that. Dang, man. August 8th, the sleeping lion. What? Oh my god, look, check this out. You can already see, um, oh man, that's going to be a really cool Echo. Echo in the in Rhinoa's outfit. That's going to be, that's going to be adorable. Can't lie. Uh, but Sleeping Lion Episode 1 Part 2 is coming out on the 8th. So we only have, uh, so if you want to rush and get all this content done, you only have uh, until the 8th. You only have a week with the Sleeping Lion Part 1, so you're going to want to start that as soon as you can. Also on the, is this is still the third? Oh, I'm sorry, no, eighth. Also on the eighth, we're gonna see a Final Fantasy VIII. GF stands for Guardian Force, not Girlfriend. Limited Greater Summon Batch 1. Powerful Summon Guardians who obey the strong. Final Fantasy VIII. Guardian Force Legend Summon Batch 1 begins. So Batch 1, Batch 2. Um, we're gonna look at these banners for the month in a separate video, maybe? Um, maybe, maybe we'll have time to do it in this one. When, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, let me see. August 15th? Because I'm interested in these cards. These are limited. So how long do we have to, for this banner? Oh, wow. We have four days for the banner. So from the 8th to the 11th. Wow. So more like three days. Um, so let's check out those cards. Let's, uh, let's see what, what they do. August 15th, Sleep in Line, Episode 2, Part 1. So that'll come out on the 16th. Oh, what? Ultimessia? Wow. Okay, so she is a legend job, so... Eh. Legend jobs are a bit harder to pull in this game. There's still no really good... There's no, like, pity system on legend jobs, really. Um, so good luck to everybody if you summon on this banner. I always... Mm, Lesson jobs for me, they don't they just don't come easy. I know a lot of people get them really easy, but not me. Pandemonium's gonna be switching around, Yggdrasil's gonna be switching around, won't spend too much time talking about that. And then it says on the twenty first, who's our limited Guardian Force uh batch two here. So this will be from the twenty first to the twenty fourth, so only three days for this as well. This is rough, you guys. Um, then we'll have on the 23rd, we're going to have Mobius FF All-Star Revival Tower, so it's like a reunion, you fight, I don't know, I guess, I'm guessing we're going to fight like everybody in this tower, we'll see what the tower rewards are, um, they've been getting better, honestly, shop sale starts, wait, yeah, so, so we're going to have a shop sale, I think we have one of these at the end of every month, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure things go down to about 20%, of their costs at, at the end of the every month so if you are gonna buy something from the item shop it's probably better to buy it at the end of the month unless it's like the daily items that you buy august 24th supreme card increased draw rate greater summon begins so i wonder what this means but it says votes determine the cards in the summon pool the top three highest votes receive summon cards and one top vote receiving the ultimate hero will be available at an increased draw rate. Wow. I wonder what the draw rate, the increased draw rate is. I wish they would give us numbers. But yeah, increased draw rate. That's going to happen August 24th, August 28th, a day before my birthday. Looks like it'll be our Mobius day and then there's nothing for the rest of the month. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on this month, you guys. Uh, my gut tells me to save everything I have, 
for the limited banners coming. So let's let's look a little bit closer at that. So this is a post by Mao Shiro, um, but he also references here. Looks like uh, blue eyes, blue two eyes, whites, and uh, Hoochie Mama. So big shout out to all four of these guys. Come by Reddit and give this the old the old rate up if you like. Uh, but yeah, here we've got the data on, looks like all the banners, all the ability cards coming August 2019, so this month. So let's get started here talking about this. So the batch one, graph job, sorceress is night. That's the cipher job. Uh, let's see, he's got a new auto ability, clutch ultimate booster, when below 30% HP, wow, that's low, trigger a new clutch. That gives ultimate booster, so it's like wall FFF. It's like wall Final Fantasy won the supreme cards uh, charging action. As long as your HP is low, uh, I guess that can be good sometimes. I don't like stuff that like. I personally don't like having to be low HP to for anything. Um, but if you're really good at this game, you can definitely make that work to your advantage. Ultimate. The ultimate's fire cross, no mercy. Before damage, it activates trance cleave boost haste. After damage, it applies weakness weapon prismatic shift. Ooh, you guys know I love my prismatic shifts. The attack power and break power is very high on it. It's, wow, 2250 attack, 2750 break. So a little more break side. Um, it's single, oh, it's single target, that's why. Single target, oh no, single target plus AoE, six hits, break, the break applies on all hits. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and then the weapon is Hyperion. Ultimate charge, abilities plus one, maxed, when it's maxed, I guess. And then Prismatic Return, plus 25 when it's maxed. Quick break, up to 20%, that's not bad at all when it's maxed, um, and then boost ultimate plus one. Looks like a really good weapon, honestly. Um, for your boy here, for your boy Cypher. This will be a really good weapon for uh, the graph users also. Um, and then, so the new permanent cards coming are, it looks like we get an Earth Dark, a Life one. The Earth one is a warrior card. Pretty high attack power, decent break. Uh, it's damage focus, multi strike overkill. It looks like looks pretty good. Critical plus fifty, attune chain plus fifty. The dark card's a, a Abaddon. It's a warrior. It's a break focus card. Uh, multi strike overkill break focus. So this is our break focus one. Gives you ten percent more quick break. That's always nice. Um, and then the life card is Elastoid. Home Fantasy Eight. Brave. Three stacks of brave. Uh, looks like three quickens when you're hasted. Charging attack 10, ult charge plus 20. Eh, it's not bad. Looks like auto charge ults plus three, life starter plus one, two fractal slots. It's, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. The new Supreme, so I'm interested in this. Oh man, a monk. <laughs> I feel like monks have more Supremes than anything right now, and it makes me so happy. <laughs> Is a dark, another dark Supreme, monk. Uh, it's AoE, of course. I don't even think we get any more single target Supremes, honestly. 2700 attack, 900 break, so not bad. It's uh, got multi hit, it hits 10 times. It's got overkill, of course. Mantra, of course. Lone Lion? Um, not sure. What, okay, Lone Lion increases cards' attack power and break power by 1% per 700 HP you have. Maxes uh, at 70k HP. For hundred percent increase, so the more HP you have, the more it looks like damage it'll do. Uh, more damage and break power it'll do. Awesome, so it looks pretty good. Four orbs, pretty good. Um, I'm excited because dark didn't or monks didn't have anything dark like this before, so this is pretty cool. Uh, the new ultimate hero squall. So this is this. Okay, so there's two. Yeah, we were right earlier. Uh, there's going to be two Squall skins. There's one you have to pull, and there's one you get for just doing the event. Um, the auto abilities. 
on I'm not sure which one he's talking about here, which is a problem. I'm not sure which squall he's bringing up here. Um Okay. But it'll have haste starter, skill seeds up 20%, ability salvo plus 4%, not sure what that is. Ultimate 3000 attack, 3500 break. So I think that's going to be like pretty much the new best supreme or the new best skin for warriors. Um looks like it'll be equipable on warrior and graf, so this will be really nice for graf. I don't I know for me personally, I have like two graf jobs and that's about it. So single target plus area main target focused um, ultimate gives warrior trance too. That's always nice. Brave snipe haste, break defense down on the target, unguard on the area, prism shift to self. Eight hits, all hits can break. That's that's pretty powerful. Uh, when you put squall Leon heart, you will also get the Leon heart times four. Okay. So it says Lionheart at 4, ability chain plus 30, max 50, improved criticals plus 30, max 70, um, ability salvo plus 3% is max, prism return starts at 15%, goes to 25%. So this must be the weapon. Um, pretty nice. Very, very nice. New auto. Ab okay, it does talk about uh, ability salvo. The more you cast an ability in succession, the higher bonus magic you get. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it sounds like it has to be the same ability. It's a new modifier independent to Faith and Trance, and it maxes at 75%. So you can do up to 75% more damage by just spamming the same ability, which you're probably, let's be real, you're probably going to be doing that anyway. If you have X ability, X percentage ability salvo with each ability cast, your magic will be increased by X percent. The bonus change will be broken once you take action rather than casting an ability. An ability except job change. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, if you have any more info on that down below, drop it down below because I don't know a whole lot about ability salvo or how it's supposed to work. Um, it sounds a lot like the chain abilities like the attune chain abilities and the ability chains but uh let's continue here the anniversary cards so we talked about this earlier they all got changed quite a bit so uh i don't know we'll go over that in a separate video because i want to talk about that when we talk about the supreme changes too because the supreme changes the ones that did change actually were really good changes too um so the first and second anniversary cards got buffed. All third anniversary cards are available. They're also going to be available on the second batch. So you'll be able to summon these uh, anniversary cards during this time period, which is pretty cool. You'll get one random card per pool, per pool on the Sorceress's Knight and Sorceress of Oblivion. Okay, cool. Unknown cards are prioritized first. That's pretty dope. So you, if you did miss the ability, or if you did miss some of these anniversary cards, they're really good cards, by the way. Um, now is actually a decent time to get them if you have a lot of extra resources. The free anniversary card is Warriors of Despair. It is a support card, 16 orb generation, gives you quicken of three stacks. We got to restart the music. Let's see, quicken of three stacks. Jeez, this is a long video if I just restarted the music. Um, weakness, weakness weapon. Eh, that's okay. I can see, I can see breakers using something like this. Uh, free ultimate hero squall. Okay, so the one we were talking about earlier was the, the ultimate hero that you have to pull, and this ultimate hero is the free one. So this is going on until November first. So. As long as you're listening to this or whatever before November 1st, you can you can get this. So you'll have about three months to get this. The skin's available until the event reprint. Wait, skin will be available if you didn't get it in the until the event reprint. That's cool. Okay, so the free skin's gonna have haste starter, skill seeds up, ability salvo two percent, and then it's got 2,500 attack, 2,500 break, uh, 20 stars. 
20, wait, 20 quick, 20 crit stars, what? Um, yeah, I, th I'm thinking, wait, 20% crit, right? No, 20 crit stars, interesting, whoa. Why does that seem like a lot? I thought there was a max on crit stars, I thought it maxed at like 10, I guess not. Um, so it's a lot like the first skin, it's just a little weaker in the attack and the break. Oh man, and you get his revolver, uh, his his like uh, his normal sword, which is my favorite, honestly. Uh, when you do his old, it's it's a single target. It gives you the warrior's chance, brave snipe haste, does the BDD on the target, prism shift, seven hits can break on all. So it's it's pretty similar. It's just not AOE. The revolver gives you ultimate charge three, exp up. Extra skill unlocks. Ah oh, man, they made this weapon like that. So it's a farming weapon. Uh, that's unfortunate. The free card for the eight eight collaboration event, Sleeping Lion, ep episode one, part two, is going to be a support card. Two orb cost. Two orb cost. Dang, that's low. All enemies and self full Asuna and full dispel. Dang. So that's like really cool for. Her. If the buffs have just gotten out of hand on enemies and debuffs and stuff, you can just kind of normalize a battle, which is pretty damn cool. You kind of reset everything and make things back to normal. I love it. Um, especially as this game, like, we've gotten to the point where buffs and debuffs are just going out like crazy, so a card like this is beautiful. It was, it's about time. Final Fantasy VIII. GF. Okay, so this is this is what you've been waiting for here. So let's talk about the limited cards coming. So these are these are the ones we were talking about earlier. They're only available for three days each. So look, batch one, we've got Alexander. Talk about that first. It's a warrior AOE, super powerful. Look at the attack. Three thousand attack power. Three thousand break. It's got multi hit, overkill, three light orb gen, light force. Okay, that's a freaking awesome card. Oh, it's got a cooldown on it, so you can only use it once, and then it gives you light force basically um, still still pretty dang cool um, especially if you're going to use it as your light force card we've got a dark version Odin Final Fantasy 8 it's a dark version it's, it's the same thing but dark and then we have a water ranger version same exact thing but it's water and then Cerberus Final Fantasy 8's our support card 9 orb gen ult charge plus 30 quicken Five turns, 20% uh, water resist, 20% earth resist, 20% dark resist, overpower, uh, max 10%. What? This is an interesting support card. Um, very, very interesting. Okay, then batch two is going to be the Sorceress of Oblivion banner. And this was also... No, no, no. This one, this one is not the limited banner. So this is just the batch two of the month. Let's see what's on this. Oh, let's talk about the job a little bit. So, Ultimeshia is our job. She's from Final Fantasy VIII. She's like the main antagonist. Her ult does Apocalypse. Main this is a JP name, so it may change. Yeah, if anybody knows, if anybody has the skin already, let us know what the name is. Before damage, it'll do a mage trance to self, dispel to enemies. Ooh, dispel before uh, damage, I like it. After damage, it does curse, the barrier, unguard, slow, bio, weak, and debilitate, BDD, CRD for two turns. Holy crap, that's really good. And then it's got 2500 break and attack, and it's AoE, and it hits seven times and breaks on all hits, so it's freaking awesome. The weapon is the sorceress's arm, ultimate charge. Ultimate charge, prism return, quick break, boost ultimate. Again, it's a good weapon. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's a good weapon. Honestly, can't complain about that at all. I love weapons with quick quick break on them. I'll, actually, all these things. Ult, ult charge, prism return, quick break, boost ult. Those are all good things. Um, the new permanent cards coming on that banner are going to be... We get tri-point. It's a wind mage card. Oh, you know what? I really need a wind mage card. But not break focused. Damn it. Curses. Nah, this one's break focused, so. I mean, you do have uh, multi hit overkill. You could probably kill stuff 
like just fine with this because it does have painful break plus 50 plus it's got the break uh i mean sorry the overkill on it i don't know you could probably do a, a decent damage with that probably not gonna be fighting any or running yeah you know, it's all right it's all right it's nothing crazy the dark one is a mage card it's aoe this one's more attack power focused 1800 attack 300 break it's got multi-hit overkill damage focus improved crits looks pretty good um and then our last one in that banner is going to be a dark card it's a support card it does stun to brave the spell damn i like it it's not bad oh whoa 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 I think it's better just because it has like Dark Element Starter. This 5 Orb cost is too much. That's way too much. Holy crap. The new. Oh man, EX card. The new EX card we're gonna get is Lilith X Bio 2. Ooh, Bio 2, Stun. Bio 2 and Stun. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure about Bio 2, but I remember Bio 1 being awesome, so. Can't wait to see how Bio 2 works. Bio 2 is 8%, so 8 damage every. Every t every tick, it's not turn. Well, it's turns, but you you guys know how that season two works a little differently. So this could be super strong in the right hands. The Final Fantasy VIII GF Limited Greater Summon Batch Two. So this is the one coming at the end of the month, twenty first to twenty fourth. This is our limited banner. So let's look closely at these cards. We're gonna have a Fire Mage card, Bahamut Final Fantasy VIII AOE. 3,000 attack, 3,000 break. So it's it's like the cards we mentioned earlier. There, it's a force card. These are all force cards. And um, they're strong. They're strong. They look good. So we're going to have a fire one. We'll have one for mages. Um, we're having a monk one. Moomba. Moomba FF8. Uh, it's 9,000 because we know monks have different numbers. And it, it's basically earth force. So... Um, the Phoenix Final Fantasy 8 card is a support that costs one orb, and it restores full HP, gives full Asuna, full Dispel on self. MP support on self only. So all that stuff is just on yourself, which is weird. Um, but it also applies Omni Drive, two stacks of that. I like Omni Drive, that's good. Uh, 16 orb gen, prism shift. Eh... Uh... I can see this as being like a alternative to Luna Freya. Um, I mean, it's it's good. It's good. I just can't see myself slotting that right away or anything. Maybe for certain MP battles, that'll probably be the bee's knees, though. All in all, as far as limited cards go, though, these are pretty good. These are the next step up as far as like having a force card like for hard content. And stuff like that. So if you're, I would say they're probably worth it, especially if you're doing like hard content and you're a tower climber at all. If not, like just being real with you, um, you might not miss too much. Honestly, I mean, I could be wrong, but I, you know, it, it's just force cards, but they're very strong force cards that you probably want. Especially if you're doing the, the good stuff, the good content. Um, you're going to want them eventually, basically. So, you might as well pick them up now. Um, and then we've got some opinions on the jobs and skins here. I'll let you guys, I'll leave some links down below so you guys can go over this. Because this video is freaking crazy long already. But, hopefully, this was helpful for you guys. Um, for me personally, there's just so much stuff to be summoning on this month. I'm gonna go for the the limited cards though. Because they look they look strong honestly to me. Um, I'm gonna be definitely playing and getting my free stuff this month. I'm looking forward to that that squall job. I love I freaking oh man I love squall. He was always one of my favorite characters. FF8 was always one of my favorite FF games, even though I despise the draw system. I think it's garbage, but everything else that that game offered was awesome. Um, and it's about time, honestly. It's about time we see, we see FF8 getting some love. It's been all about FF7 for years now. 
Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys are doing this month, what you guys are planning on summoning for, going hard for. Uh, for me, yeah, I'll be summoning this limited stuff. And, yeah, you know, I might try here or there for, to, to get one of these legend jobs. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah. Uh, besides that, let me know what you guys think. I got links down below in the description for um, Patreon now. And I know people will probably be like, Robbie, you're, you're e-begging now too. What's going on? But the thing is, it's just like, man, making content on Mobius Final Fantasy is a death sentence on YouTube and all that. It's just the algorithm's never going to push us up to the top. So that's why I got the Patreon going now. Um, also, I'm not streaming as much on Twitch because Twitch is kind of taking a weird uh, cam site turn and uh, I, I just haven't liked a lot of the stuff they've been doing lately and the way they promote their content creators and stuff so i've kind of been been off twitch so i'm kind of looking for different ways to kind of make the content that you guys want so let me know down below in the description and or in the comments and everything hopefully this video was helpful for you guys i know it's kind of a lot of information i'm sure i missed some stuff so if i did throw it down below take care of yourself good luck to you Take it easy, I'll see you soon.